So, with the whole global crisis that's happening right now, I've had a lot of time to just relax and work on personal projects. It's been great. Apparently my lifestyle is called quarantine. How crazy is that? So in the spare time, I've been working on my CAD skills and browsing 3D printable airplane designs. A lot of them are cool, but none of them really, you know, hit the spot. So I thought, how hard would it really be to design a functioning 3D printable airplane? And you know, that's precisely what I did. All right, so this right here is a 3D printable V-tail design. It's only 800 millimeter wingspan, so it's not very big. I've got it already loaded up in my printer, so let's get this build started. So as you can see, the plane is ready to go. Not gonna lie, I'm actually really impressed. I did not think it would look this good. Surface finish is pretty nice. I uh, got the print settings right. You may notice that I'm using elastic bands to hold the wing down. That's mostly for ease of access and transport and so that it absorbs some of the impact if it crashes. Somehow it balances perfectly with a 1300 4S battery. I don't have to add any weight to the nose. I also printed this FPV camera mount. I'm gonna go test this thing out now. this guy what the hell's that <laughs> yo chill bro chill social oh, distancing oh, shit. dude check this out cool really that's all cool yeah it's pretty neat looks like a, like a hotliner i'm gonna need your help launching it okay all right very nice all right Let's test this out, y'all. Okay, guys, I'm really worried. I'm, I don't have high hopes, but fuck it. Full send. Oh, God. Oh, oh, it flies. It flies. It's flying. It feels, per it feels good, too. It's not like fucky or anything. That's so sexy.
gotta interrupt the video to tell you that the thing you're about to witness was not recorded on video, sadly. The DSLR just happened to be turned off right at the time of the thing. So just listen to the audio and let your imagination do the rest. Enjoy. Okay, Tristan, I'm gonna land it and we're gonna try with FPV. Oh. Did you... Ah. Oh. I think that's a... Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, shit. Look at this. It just broke along the seams, mostly. I mean, the wing is kind of fucked, but, um... You know what, guys? I think I can actually fix this. You know, aside from the crash, like, this thing flew really well. Uh, it sounded awesome. It has this, like, whistling noise to it. And, uh, yeah, it, it didn't feel like a small plane. So, uh, I think let's just fix this. I'm gonna fix this up and see if I can get it flying again. Okay guys, so the plane is all repaired now. I used CA glue, well actually it's not CA glue, it's like a crappier version, and this foil tape, and it seems to be holding fine. And uh, yeah, surprisingly, um, you know, it only had a few failure points. Uh, I've also got the FPV camera mount with the camera on it. On top so this time I'll actually have some onboard footage so yeah this is uh, ready to fly again so let's do this god I can't <laughs> even look at those <laughs> Oh, f oh, f oh, f <laughs> that thing exploded. Duck. Where is it? Oh, my God. Oh, no, it's all in the water. Oh. oh, no, this is nasty. Oh, the battery ejected. The canopy is still all right, though. So I lost, uh, I lost orientation and it just kind of nosed into the ground. Luckily, the uh, battery ejected before it landed in the water. So hopefully the electronics are still fine. <sighs> this is disappointing. But also kind of cool <laughs> content. So yeah, basically, uh, guys, I don't think I'm going to be able to fix this. And anyways, you know, as per tradition, we're going to be breaking this boy. <laughs> oh. <sighs> this is crisp. All right, guys, so the files for this plane are in the description down below. If you print one, make sure to tag me on Instagram at gvaskovskyyt. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed with the design. I didn't even expect it to work, but it did, so that's awesome. I also have a new project in the works, another design, so make sure to hit that like button to uh, beat the algorithm, okay? And uh, subscribe with bell notifications on if you want to see more of this content. Also, if you want to know how I designed this thing, let me know in the comments. If I have enough comments, I'll make a new channel called Greg Design Stuff. Original, <laughs> yay! <laughs> I'm gonna explain how I designed these things because it is kind of complicated, but I'm sure some of you would like to try making your own. So, uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.